So we're gonna start by laying back on our backs. So we're just gonna start with this little meditation to cultivate some peace, all right? So close your eyes down. And start to slow your breath way down. Breathing through the nose, see how long you can make each breath last. Imagine you're inhaling through the nose right into the mind. Imagine there's this little balloon you're filling up that fills up all the space in your head with stillness. And on the exhale, you're letting go, letting go of tension in the shoulders and the jaw, letting go of limiting thoughts about yourself or ideas that no longer serve you. See if you can imagine that your mind is just like any other muscle and soften there. Softening all the muscles in your face help. Soften through your tongue and your jaw. So notice that just by making this breath last as long as you can, it forces you to be right here in this moment instead of just letting the breath happen on its own. Choosing to consciously participate in this breath, in this moment. So our intention is to take this place of peace with us into our practice instead of just reserving this place for Shavasana or for our meditation. Today we're gonna to let the yoga be the way we practice taking this dimension of love and light with us into the world. So commit to staying in this place of peace. And then open your eyes just a little bit, not really trying to see yet, just trying not to let anything change just because you can see now. Close your eyes and see how quickly you can go right back to that place of peace if you lost it. And do this a couple times until you feel like you can stay in this place while we move our bodies today. And when you feel ready, flutter your eyes open and start to hug your knees into your chest. At any point, if you lose this connection, just close your eyes, see if you can get it back. If that doesn't work, come down to the ground. But make it your priority to stay in this place of peace today. Even if that means you just lie on your back with your eyes closed for the next hour. All right, start to rock the whole length of your spine, maybe bringing the toes to touch the ground behind the head and rocking all the way up to a seat a couple times. When you're ready, we'll stay in that seat at the top. Finding a nice tall spine. So we're gonna inhale from the sit bones all the way up to the crown. And then we're gonna exhale as we soften the face and shoulders again. So if your eyes are open, we'll soften the gaze, not really trying to make things blurry, but just kind of a diffused gaze down the nose and nothing at all, not really trying to see, but keeping your gaze fixed. Keeping your breath and your gaze steady will help keep the mind steady. So draw the shoulders down the back, keep them down. Inhale, the arms up. Squeeze the palms together, lift the fingers high. Exhale, turn and twist to the right. We'll stay for two full breaths. Inhale, from the sit bones all the way up to the crown, fill all the way up, chin is parallel to the ground. Exhale, twist a little more. Soften through the face, soften through the shoulders, empty all the air. One more, inhale to lengthen, hold on to it. 
Exhale, soften, deepen the twist. Inhale, come back to center. Press the sit bones down, reach up, fill up. Exhale, turn and twist to the left. Chin is parallel. Inhale, from the sit bones all the way up to the crown. Exhale, soften the face. Twist a little more. One more inhale and exhale here. You can last as long as you can. Slowly come back to center. Squeeze the hands together. Lift the fingers high. And now hinge forward, letting your head become heavy. Keep rooting down into the sit bones. And notice how on every exhale, there's still more to let go of. Get curious about how much you could let go here. See if there's any more space to sink into for this last breath or two. And slowly come back up. We'll come onto our hands and our knees. Get a nice tabletop set up. Start to feel the length in your spine and the back of the neck. Start to feel the strength in your arms as you find that external rotation of the upper arms. Stay with that deep, slow, steady flow of air through the nose. Keeping that soft gaze in your eyes are open. Now reach back through the right heel. Keep the toes on the ground. Find a calf stretch here. Arms stay straight and strong. Heart is shining forward. Back of the neck stays long. Start to draw the belly in and up and really reach back through the heel. Finding more length from your heel to your crown. Spin the right heel down. Slide the left foot behind you like a kickstand and peel the right arm up towards the ceiling. And then reach it up alongside the ear, making a nice long continuous line through the whole right side of your body. Press down into the right foot, scoop the hips towards the long edge of the mat, roll the heart up towards the ceiling and reach through the fingers. Relax your head and your neck. Hold on to your breath. Now reach the right arm straight up towards the ceiling and lift your whole self up, bringing your right hand to your right thigh, reaching your left hand up and over. Keep scooping the hips towards that long edge of the mat and reaching through the fingers. Slowly lower the left hand down, lift the right arm and the right leg so everything's parallel to the ground. Flex the foot, press back through the heel, reach through the fingers, roll the heart up towards the ceiling just a touch, and then come back to hands and knees for a couple rounds of cat cow. Take your time. Breathing through the nose, inhale, drop the belly, shine the heart forward. Exhale, round it out, manually pressing the air out by drawing the belly button all the way back into the spine, maybe closing the eyes for a second to come back to that place of peace. And then try to keep that with the eyes open. After you empty all the air, the next time come back to a neutral spine, finding that strength in the arms. Press back through the left heel, keep those toes down. So notice you kind of want to tilt or bend one elbow. Try not to do that. Press into the hands evenly. Keep the arms straight and strong. Shining the heart forward, rolling the shoulders back, looking down. Keep the back of the neck long. Lengthen from heel to crown. Press through your fingers and your knuckles. Feel your core engage. Find that calf open. Spin the left heel down, slide the right foot behind you like a kickstand. Peel the left arm up and over alongside the ear. Really root down into the left foot and lengthen the whole left side of your body. Draw the shoulder out of the ear a little bit, scoop the hips towards the long edge. Reach through the fingers and then roll the heart up towards the ceiling. Lift the left hand straight up to lift your whole self up. Left hand, left thigh, right hand up and over. Hips scooping forward towards the long edge of the mat. Reach just a little bit more. See what you can let go of on the exhale. Lower the right hand, lift the left leg and the left arm. Everything's parallel, flex the foot. Press back through the heel, reach through the fingers. Roll the heart up towards the ceiling just a little. And come back to your hands and your knees for two really slow rounds of cat-cat. Take your time.
After you empty all the air the last time, come back to that neutral spine, curl the toes under. Lift the knees a couple inches, let the head hang heavy. Press into the fingers and knuckles and really slowly lift those sit bones and knees up to the top back corner of the room. Not trying to straighten into the legs yet, just trying to find more length in your spine. So keep the knees bent, keep the head heavy, shake it out if it helps. Press into the hands evenly, draw the shoulders out of the ears and blossom that booty up towards that top back corner of the room. Now press the right heel all the way down, keeping the left knee bent. Don't tilt your structure, your arms are straight and strong, pressing into both hands evenly still. Press the left heel down, bend the right knee, stay with your breath. One more time, right heel presses down. And left heel presses down. Up on your tippy toes and slowly tippy toe your feet forward to meet your hands, firing up the core. Inhale, lift up halfway and exhale, fold. Shake your head a little bit. Draw your belly in and up out of the way. And rock a little weight to the toes and then into the heels a couple times, maybe even lifting the heels off the ground and then lifting the toes off the ground. Feel that stretch moving up and down the backs of the legs. Now bend your knees a lot, tuck your chin to your chest, inhale here. On the exhale, slowly round up like your arms are really heavy. Press down into all four corners of both feet. Stack each vertebrae in place, lift the heart, roll the shoulders down and back. Inhale, reach out, lengthen up, squeeze the palms together, lift the fingers high. Exhale, swan dive, press into the feet, bend your knees if you need to. Engage your core, protect your back, draw the belly in and up out of the way, fold a little more. Inhale, lift up, halfway. hold on to it, take one more sit again. Let the hands step back to plank, and we're going to hold this for a while. So get it nice and set up, shoulders over elbows over wrists, back of the neck long, so you're looking down. Breathing only through the nose. Lift the quads up off the knees, draw the belly in and up. Feel the strength in your body, finding that external rotation of the upper arms. Find that place of peace. Close your eyes if you need to. We'll stay for a couple more breaths. If you need to lower down to the knees, you can. Press into the hands to lift everything up just a little bit more. Lower the knees, and then the chest, and then the chin, and the booty in the air. Take a deep breath into the low back. See where you feel like when you wag the tail, drawing the right hip over towards the mat. Moving slowly back through center, dropping the left hip. Come back to center and slowly flatten out on top of your toes. So your hands are under your shoulders, your elbows are hanging in tight, and your elbows are reaching back towards the feet. Press into the feet, inhale, peel the heart up. See what you can let go of on the exhale. Soften through the jaw, the tongue, the eyes, soften your gaze. Let each inhale lift you up a little higher. If your low back doesn't feel quite ready for this, let each exhale take you all the way back down to the ground. Otherwise, each inhale just lifts a little more. Using your hands to pull your heart forward. Pressing into your feet to so lift your heart up. Maybe eventually straightening into the arms by pressing into the hands but still pulling the heart forward. Soft up through the face, the neck, the shoulders. Maybe for the last breath, you look up and reach up through the chin. Soften your backside, slowly come down. Press back to child's pose. Curl the toes under. Lift the knees a couple inches. Press into the hands, let your head be heavy. Slowly lift the sit bones and the knees up and back, finding that nice long spine. And then maybe straightening into the legs, dropping into the heels. Soften the shoulders away from the ears, finding that external rotation of the upper arms. Soften the fronts of the ankles to sink in a little bit more. Inhale, lift your right foot up. Keep your hips in line, so flex the foot. Point the toes down and slightly in. Don't let your structure tilt. Your arms are still straight and strong. Hands are still pressing evenly. Inhale, come up on the tippy toes. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose and step it all the way through like crescent lunge. Stack your knee right over your ankle. Inhale, up, shoulders over hips. Sink in, maybe you can get the right thigh parallel to the ground. If your knee comes over the ankle, take a wider step. 
Make sure your knees pointing straight out of that second toe, not up to either side. Keep your hips facing forward by drawing the right hip back and the left hip forward. Draw the low belly in and up, lift up through the heart, and reach up out of the hips. On the exhale, soften the gaze, keep it steady. Soften the shoulders down the back, find that place of peace. Slowly lower the left knee all the way down to the ground. Untuck the toes. Lower the hands down to frame the foot. Draw the toes back like half splits. Keep your hips in line by continuing to draw the right hip back into the socket. Keep your heart lifted like up dog. Maybe starting to bend at the elbows to drop your body down towards the leg. Stay with this breath just a little bit longer. Really trying to only breathe through the nose. We have more incentive for just doing the Ajaya now because it's also better for germ spreading, keeping our germs inside. Slowly lower the right foot down, curl the left toes under, shoot the left foot up high like standing splits, let your head get heavy, keep your hips in line, find your breath. Slowly come all the way up to stand and bring your left knee with you, hug it in so you get your balance, and then cross the left knee over the right, maybe your toes can wrap all the way around. So soften into that standing ankle and knee to sink in. Bring your arms up to the sides and then sweep your left arm under the right. See if you can get your palms to touch. Now if you're wobbling a lot, just soften into it more. Instead of trying to control the wobble, just soften that left ankle, that right ankle and right knee, yeah? Elbows come out and up, shoulders soften down the back. See so if you can find a little more length in the spine and the back of the neck. Pull the belly in. Draw the upper body back a little more. Your gaze and your breath steady. Keep your mind steady. Slowly come back up. Put that left knee up and your hands to your heart. Hinge forward, keeping your hips in line. Shoot that leg back long. Everything's parallel to the ground. Flex the foot. Point the toes down and in. Lengthen from heel to crown. Slowly step back to press and lunge. Sink all the way in. Then cartwheel your hands down. Shoot the right foot up and back. Three legged dog. Bend the knee. Open the hips. Try to stack them. Press into the hands evenly, relax your head and your neck. Sink into the left heel and twist open. Slowly come back down with facing dog. Inhale through the nose, come up high on the tip of the nose. Open mouth, exhale, sink into your heels. Inhale, lift the left foot up. Keep it flexed, keep your hips in line. Keep your arms straight and strong and your head heavy. Stay with your breath. Close your eyes for a second if you need to. Come up on your tippy toes. Exhale, draws the knee to the nose. Step it through. Knee stacks over ankle. Inhale up, shoulders over hips. Sink in, maybe left thigh gets parallel. Check the knee straight out over the second toe. Draw the left hip back and the right hip forward. Draw that left belly in and up. Lift up through the heart. Maybe hands come together to gaze up the thumbs. On the inhale, see if you can lengthen. Find some more space in your body. On the exhale, see if you can soften. Feel the shoulders relax. Soften through the mind, stay focused. Slowly lower the right knee all the way down, untuck the toes, sink in a little bit, and then lower the hands down, finding that half split as you draw the toes back towards the nose, drawing the left hip back towards the socket. Keep the heart lifting, maybe bending with the elbows. Slowly lower the left foot, curl the right toes, shoot the left foot up and back, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, open the hips. We missed that. Slowly come back down, dog, step that left foot forward again. And then shoot the right foot all the way up to standing splits. Slowly come to standing, bringing the right knee with you. Hug it in until you feel balanced. And then cross the knee over. Maybe your toes wrap on the side. Bring your arms out to the sides. Right arm under left now. Maybe your palms touch on the side. Elbows out and up. Shoulders soften down the back. Sink in by softening that left ankle and left knee. Draw the belly in. Draw the upper body back. Lengthen through the back of the neck. Soften your gaze. Soften your face.
Slowly come back up, lift that knee high. Bring your hands to your heart. Hinge forward, shoot that leg back long until everything's parallel. Foot is flexed, hips are in line, lengthen out. Slowly step back to press and lunge. And since we are did the three-legged dog in the twist, we'll just lower the hands down, chaturanga. Leaning back and downward facing dog. Good job, guys. Inhale, roll it forward into plank pose. We're going to hold again. So find that strength as you externally rotate the upper arms to shine the heart forward. See if you can soften on the exhale. Find that place of peace. Closing the eyes if it helps. Couple more breaths. See if you can lift everything a little higher. Lifting the quads up off the knees, drawing the belly in and up. Slowly lower the knees, and then the chest, and then the chin on top of the toes. Now interlace your fingers back behind your sit bones, maybe you can glue your palms together. Drag the hands back, and want to draw the shoulders up and back. Press into the feet and lift the heart up. Each inhale lifts the heart up a little more. Each exhale soften through the face, the shoulders, the tongue. Keep pressing into the feet to lift the heart. Exhale, release, bring your hands under your shoulders, curl your toes under, lift the knees and quads up off the mat, press it up to plank, and lift up downward facing dog. Inhale through the nose, come up high on the tippy toes, open mouth, exhale, sink into your heels. Inhale, roll it forward into plank pose. Roll to the outside edge of your left foot, side plank, peel the right arm up towards the sky. The hips a little higher. Bring the right arm up alongside the ear. Roll the heart up towards the ceiling. Step the right foot back behind you. Flip it over. Lift the hips. Lift the heart. Reach through the fingers. Relax your head and your neck. Open the heart. Slowly come back to plank and roll to the outside of the right foot. Feel the left arm straight up towards the ceiling. Lift the hips a little higher. And then bring the left arm up alongside the ear. Roll the heart up towards the sky, step your left foot back, flip it over. Relax your head, your neck, your face, reach to your fingers. Slowly come back to plank and lower through chaturanga, meeting back and downward facing dog. Inhale, roll it forward into plank. And then slowly walk or slide the feet back. So come down to forearm plank without moving your hands at all. Well, your hands are stay just like down dog. Your fingers are spread wide, your hands are shoulder width distance apart. Shoulders stacked over elbows. Booty in line with the shoulders, back of the neck long, looking down. Really pressing down into the hands, wrists, the forearms, lifting those quads up off the knees. Now turn and twist and kiss the mat with the right hip. Inhale back to center. Left hip kisses mat. Inhale back to center. So go at your own pace, nice and slow and control. Whenever you've had enough, you can lower your hips down to the ground and stay up on your forearms. Good. Lower the belly down on top of your toes. Keep your hands really activated here. Your hands are just like down dog still. Engage your hands to pull the belly button and the heart forward. So re relax the lower body, not pressing your feet or your hips into the mat. But really engage the arms to pull everything forward, creating some space between your vertebrae. Chin is to the ground now, really slowly. So come up on your elbows. Yeah, stacking your elbows right underneath your shoulders. Yeah, just like so find that engagement and then really slowly turn to gaze at your right shoulder. And see if you can keep gazing past it all the way back to the feet. See if you can gaze even past the feet, but keep your hands actively pulling your belly button and your heart forward. Feel that space you're creating. See if you can take a deep breath into that space and let something go. Slowly turn back to gaze over the front of the mat. Re-engage, pulling belly button and heart forward. Slowly gaze towards the left shoulder and beyond. 
back to the feet and beyond if you can. Take a deep breath into that space you're creating and then soften. Slowly look forward. Curl the toes, lift the hips, forearm plank. Now walk your feet in, let your booty go up like dolphin pose, let your head be heavy. Maybe for a second your head touches the ground just to find length in the back of your neck. Draw the shoulders out of the ears, finding that extra rotation of the upper arms even here. Maybe your feet step in a little closer. Lift the right foot up, keep it flexed, keep your hips in line, and switch. Or maybe you're working on kicking up here. Keep pressing into both forearms evenly. And when you're done, find a child's pose. See how quickly you can find that place of peace, or maybe you never lost it. Good job. Slow your breath way down. See if you can make that inhale last eight, nine, maybe even 10 counts. Let's make the exhale just the same. Creating this nice rhythmic flow with your breath. Now we commit for the second half of class to staying in this place of peace. And when you feel like you can, come on up down or facing dog. Maybe you're keeping your eyes closed. Maybe you're going back and forth between eyes closed and eyes open. Doing whatever you need to do to stay in this place, being vigilant to cultivate some peace. All right, inhale through the nose, come up high on the tippy toes. Open mouth, exhale, sink into your heels. Inhale, reach the right foot up high. Come up on your tippy toes. Exhale, bring your right knee to your right armpit. Keep your arms straight and strong, finding that extra rotation of the upper arms. Back and knee stays long. Find your breath, maybe you find an arm balance. Inhale, shoot it back up. Press down into the left heel as you press up through the right heel. Come up on the toes. Exhale, right knee, left armpit. Arms straight and strong, core is engaged. Press through the fingers and knuckles. Find your breath. Inhale, shoot it back up. Left heel down, right heel up. Come up on the toes. Exhale, knee to nose. Step it through, warrior two. Second knee over ankle, spin left heel up and down and come on up. Check in with the knee, pressing straight out over second toe. Maybe right thigh is parallel to the ground. Gaze out over the right fingertips. Press down to all the corners of both feet. Draw the belly in and up, lift up through the heart. Soften through your face and shoulders. Keep your gaze steady. Keep your breath steady. On the inhale, see what you can lengthen. Finding more of the wingspan, more length up through the crown. On the exhale, see what you can soften. Turn the palms to face the long edge of the mat and turn the arms till they're straight up and down like a pillar. You're not going to rest any weight anywhere. We're not going to let our right fingers touch the ground either. If they're touching the ground, reach your left hand up higher and lift your whole self up higher. Check the thing with the knee. Make sure it's pressing straight on the second toe. Maybe the right elbow needs to help it and press it back to keep it stacked over the ankle. Then gaze up the left hand, tucking your left, tucking your chin in towards your left shoulder. Now reach the left hand up another inch and then roll the left shoulder back, using that leverage of your elbow against your knee here. Right knee doesn't move at all. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Maybe left hand reaches around for the right thigh. Keep pressing the right knee straight out over that second toe. Reach up through the fingers. Now bring your hands to your hips. Turn your toes towards the long edge of the mat. Turn your toes in towards each other just a little bit and start to hinge at the hips. Now grab your elbows and start to, to sway a little bit. We're trying to straighten the legs by lifting the quads up off the knees, not locking the knees. If your knees are bent, that's okay. Just make sure they're bent evenly so your structure is not tilted here. Shake your head a little bit. Find some fluid movement here in your upper body. Make a ragdoll sensation. And then release your arms. Grab your right ankle with your left hand and roll your right arm up towards the ceiling. Pull your head straight down towards the ground. Soften the shoulders up out of the ears. If your knees are bent, it's okay, but bend them evenly. So you're symmetrical here, not tilted to one side. Maybe the back of the right hand comes to the small of the back or reaches for that left hip. As you twist the right shoulder back more, tip a little weight into the balls of the feet, lifting those sit bones up and back by lifting the quads up off the knees. Stay with your breath.
and release. Now bend the left knee and sweep the floor towards the left. And bend the right knee and sweep the floor towards the right. One more time to the back of the room. And one more time to the front. Bring your shoulder, hands back under your shoulders. With a little bend in the knees, bring your hands to your hips and slowly come on up. Now turn all your toes to face the front of the mat. Find a crescent lunge and sink in. Press the right knee forward more. Reach around the waist more. Now plant the left hand down inside the foot. Roll the right arm up. Gaze up and in. Find more space as you press the right knee forward. Draw the left heel back. Now roll the heart up towards the ceiling as you roll the right shoulder back. Roll to the outside of the left foot. Sweep the right foot back. Side plank. Press down into the hand, lift up through the hips. Bring the right arm up alongside the ear and find a little more length. Roll the heart up towards the ceiling. Step the right foot back, flip it over. Lift the hips, lift the heart. Reach through the fingers and really open the heart. Slowly come back to plank and lower through chaturanga. Meeting back in downward facing dog. Inhale through the nose, come up higher on the toes. Open the mouth, exhale, sink into the heels. Inhale, lift the left foot up high, come over the toes. Exhale, left knee, left arm in. Hold here, pressing through the fingers and knuckles, lengthening through the back of the neck, engaging your core, staying with your breath. Shoot it back up, right heel down, left heel up. Draw it across the body to the right arm in. Keep your arms straight and strong. Keep your gaze steady. Inhale, shoot it back up. Come up on your toes. So exhale, knee to the nose. Step it through, warrior two. Right heel spins out and down. Check knee over ankle. Come on up. Press it up with the second toe. Gaze out over the left fingers. Hold your breath. Press down to the feet, especially the outside edge of that right foot. Draw the belly. And now inhale, what can you lengthen? Exhale, what can you soften? Palms turn towards the windows, arms coming straight up and down. Left knee still pressing over, second toe. Maybe pressing that knee open with the elbow. Gaze up to the right hand, lift the right hand a little higher. Use that leverage to roll the right shoulder back. Press down into the feet, keep pressing the left knee straight out with that second toe. Left knee doesn't move at all, slowly come up to reverse it. Maybe right hand finds the left thigh. Reach up out of the waist. Now bring your hands to your hips and turn to face the windows. Turn your toes in towards each other and hinge at the hips. Grab your elbows again. Find that little ragdoll sensation. If you're bending the knees, bend them both evenly. Otherwise, trying to lift the quads up off the knee. Shake your head a little. Now release your hands and walk them back behind you. Fingers pointing back away from you as you pull your head down towards the ground. Tipping weight into the balls of the feet to lower your head down more. Lifting those quads up off the knees. Draw the belly in and up. If you feel like going upside down, you can bring your hands right under your shoulders. If you can get the top of your head to the mat and start to lift your feet with no momentum, then you can go up. Find your breath. Slowly come back down. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Put a little bend in the knees. Bring your hands to your hips and slowly come on up. Now turn your toes all the way out if you can. We're trying to stack the knees over the ankles here. You might need to move around a little bit to make it happen. You might even need to help the knees open to open the hips. Then bring your hands on your knees with your thumbs on the inside and rest a little weight there to lengthen up through the crown. Keep the knees pressing out over those second toes and drop the right shoulder down towards the left foot. See what you can soften on the exhale. Stay with your breath. Slowly come back to center and switch left shoulder, right foot. Slowly come back up, bring your hands to your hips, turn all your toes to face the front of the mat. Find that crescent lunge, sink in. 
Put the right hand down, pull the left arm up, gaze up and in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften. Roll to the outside of the right foot, sweep the left foot back, side plank. Press down into the hand, lift up through the hips, bring the arm up alongside the ear, roll the heart up towards the ceiling. Step the left foot back, flip it over, relax your head and your neck, reach, keep your fingers. Slowly come back to plank and lower through chaturanga, meeting back in downward facing dog. Good job, guys. Okay, step your right foot in halfway between your left foot and your hands. Stay on the ball of your foot. Now kick your left foot up. See if you can just float the right toes off the ground and inch or two. So make this more about the strength in your arms than getting upside down. So press into your fingers and your knuckles. Find that external rotation of the upper arms. Stay with your breath. And then we'll switch. Step the left foot in halfway. Stay on the ball of the foot. It'll help. Kick the right foot up. Yeah. Beautiful. And whenever you're finished here, we'll come back to a child's pose. See how quickly you can drop right into that place of peace. Slow the breath way down. See if you can recommit to staying in this place while we stretch out on the floor. And come on up to kneeling here for camel pose. Stacking the hips right over the knees. Bring the hands to the low back. Make your fingers pointing up. Draw the elbows a little closer together back there. And find an internal rotation of the thighs. And imagine you're squeezing a block together then. Scoop the hips forward, lift the heart up, and go back. If it's too much on your neck, keep the chin drawing in towards the chest. But keep the heart lifting and keep going back. Just soften your face, your tongue, your jaw, and really let it go. On the inhale, come up, bring your knees together. Lower your wrists to your heels, slide your hands down to your knees. Tuck your tailbone all the way under, tuck your chin all the way to your chest, and curl into the tightest little ball. It should feel really good. And slowly come back up, stacking hips and knees. We'll do two more sets of camel. Maybe on this side, you grab one heel. Maybe on the next set, you grab the other, but set it up first. Bring your hands to your low back. Wrap the elbows back, squeeze the block. Press the hips forward, lift the heart, and go back. Maybe you're reaching for that right heel, and reaching your left arm up. Now see what you can soften. Let go a little bit more here. Let go of that tension in your mind, telling you you can't do it. Let go of that tension in your jaw, your neck, your face. On the inhale, slowly come up, knees together. Hips to heels, hands to knees. Tuck it in real tight. You can stay right here if you want, or you can wave the spine out. Kind of like cat cow. And we'll come back up for one more set. Stacking the hips over knees. Bring hands to the low back, wrap the elbows, squeeze the block, press it forward, lift the heart. And you grab that left heel now. Reaching the right arm up. So we can soften and let go of here. On the inhale, come up. Knees together, feet together. Sit on your heels. Now grab your heels with your thumb on the outside. Lean back just a little bit. Tuck your chin to your chest and roll into the tightest little ball. Trying to touch your forehead to your knees. Trying to touch the top of your head to the mat right in front of your knees. Roll forward onto the top of your head. Pull on your heels. Lift your hips. Breathe into that space behind the back, behind the heart, and fill it all the way up with your breath. On the exhale, see what you can soften. One more breath, just like that. Hold on to it. And slowly come back up. And now we'll sit onto, I'm worried about giving them a strange shot between the legs here. <laughs> <laughs> sit onto your left hip and straighten the right leg out. That's what. Finding that 90 degrees here, and we're thinking the shorts thing today. Okay. Kicking out through the right heel, maybe even lifting it up off the ground to engage that quad. Reach the arms up, up, up. Turn to face that right leg with the upper body, and then lengthen out, grabbing whatever you can here. 
So if you can, you know, keep that heel lifted off the ground so you're building strength and flexibility here. You're lifting the heart up and then reaching it for the foot. Try to keep your shoulders in line, not tilted to one side. If you want, you can let your head get heavy, but keep your heart lifted, all right? Use each exhale to soften into it just a little bit more. If your eyes are open, soften your gaze. And now bring your right elbow right inside your right knee and your left hand onto your left shoulder to peel it back to roll the heart up towards the ceiling. Maybe you keep that right heel lifted off the ground, reach the left hand up. And then you're reaching for the toes, but it's more about this opening of the heart. So I could grab my toes, but not with my heart open. Use this leverage to roll the left shoulder back to open the heart and then reach for the toes. Relax your head and your neck. Keep kicking through the right heel. Soften your tongue, your eyes, your jaw. Let something go. Slowly come back up and straighten the left leg. Bring the right foot in. Find your 90. Kick through that heel. Reach up, 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 turn the body to face that leg, lengthen out, grab what you can. Lift up and pull the heart towards the foot. Keep the shoulders even, soften your face. And let each exhale let you sink in just a little bit more. Maybe breathing into that balloon, filling all the space between your ears with that stillness. Relaxing your mind. Bring the left elbow inside the left knee, right hand to the right shoulder, peel it back, reach the right hand up and over, use the leverage to open the heart, drawing that elbow back, and then reach for the toes. Soften the shoulders down, soften the face, find your breath. Slowly come back up. And now we'll bring both feet flat on the ground in front. Put your hands forward and lift up to boat pose. You can grab onto the back of your knees and let you can straighten the arms and the legs. Pull the belly in, lift the heart, reach out to the balls of the feet, squeeze the legs together. Find your breath. Inhale, lengthen out to a hover. Keep kicking out to the balls of your feet. Exhale, come back up. Keep squeezing your legs together. Move with your own breath, slow and control. Whenever you've had enough, just roll back onto your back and hug your knees into your chest. Hug your knees into your chest and move however it feels good. Maybe finding a happy baby here. Tuck your chin a little bit. Try to get your lower vertebrae and your booty on the ground. Yeah, maybe rock from side to side, massaging out some tension in your low back. Maybe you hook your peace sign fingers around your big toes and straighten your legs out wide to the sides. Tucking your chin, trying to get your lower back and booty down still. Find your breath. Hug your knees into your chest. We're gonna roll back into a plow pose. See if you can get the toes to touch the ground behind your head. You can keep your hands on your little back of support here if you like, or you can try to nail your fingers back behind you, maybe even your palms glue together. Now really soften into this one. When you soften your neck, your face, your shoulders, you'll feel this pose change. It'll become less about your neck and more about the curve in your spine. See if you can feel that happening by letting go. Stay with your breath. Maybe when you soften, you can even walk your feet back a little further towards the back of the room. Bring your hands to your low back, straighten your legs up towards the ceiling, stacking the hips over the shoulders and the feet over the hips. So your hips probably need to go towards the back of the room. Your feet probably need to come towards the front of the room. 
Squeeze your legs together, reach up through the balls of the feet, lift your feet a little higher to make everything feel a little bit lighter. Stay with your breath. Slowly lower back into that plow pose and soften right into it. Take one really deep, slow breath. And then reach your hands forward, press down into your palms, and as slow as you can go, one vertebrae at a time, back down to the ground, realigning your spine. Once your booty touches the ground, kick out through the heels, draw the toes back towards the face, and take 20 seconds to lower the legs down. Keep your chin tucked. If you have a tricky low back, you can slide the hands under the booty with the palms facing down. You've got 10 more seconds. Kick out through the heels. Squeeze your legs together. Find your breath. Maybe at the end you want to pop up into a fish, sliding the hands under the booty, pressing into the elbows to lift the heart, reaching the crown of the head towards the mat behind you. Zip the legs together, reach out through the balls of the feet, press down into the elbows to lift the heart. Maybe the legs lift up too. See what you can let go of on the exhale. And release, hug your knees into your chest. Okay, lower your feet down flat on the ground. And cross your right knee over your left. Bring your arms out like cactus. Shift your hips to the right and lower your knees to the left. If your knee doesn't come all the way down to the ground, maybe your left hand wants to help it all the way down. See if you can lower the right arm and right shoulder all the way down and then gaze out over towards that right hand. If your eyes are open, soften your gaze. See how long you can make this breath last. See if you can really commit for our last little part of practice. We don't have too many breaths left to take here together today. So make this one count. See how long you can stay with it. See what you can let go of on the exhale. Maybe closing the eyes and really finding that place of peace. And if you open Open them back up, trying not to let anything distract you. So we can find this deep place of peace with our eyes closed in our meditation. Then once we open our eyes and there's all these shiny objects around, it's really hard to stay in that place. And that's why it's really hard to keep that peace in our heart while we move through our day. And it's really easy to think like, what the heck is wrong with the world? What's wrong with people? But it's really hard to look inside and go, oh, right, that's what's wrong with the world. We're in conflict. Call it between good and evil, your head and your heart, ego, God, whatever you want to call it. There's a bit of a, a situation, a predicament here as humans might have realized. And even though we all want more peace, it's really hard to cultivate it. It's not so hard to cultivate it in meditation or shavasana, but it's really hard to take it with us into our lives. So we're letting yoga be the practice of moving our bodies from this place so we can be the peace we want to see in the world. Move slowly as you come back to center and hug your knees into your chest. Open your eyes close if it helps. Stay in this place a couple more minutes. Resetting your nervous system. Lower your feet down. Practice the arms. Left knee over right, hips to the left, knees to the right. Maybe right hand helps the knee all the way down. Gaze out over the left hand and relax. Notice how there's always more to let go of on the exhale. Let's see if you can let go just a little bit more. In that inhale, 
filling that balloon, filling all the space in the head with stillness instead of thoughts. And as you feel that tension leaving your face, your shoulders, but those limiting thoughts and ideas about yourself leaving too. Take one more really deep, slow breath and let it all go. Slowly come back to center, hug your knees into your chest. Lower your feet, straighten your legs out long on the mat. Spread your feet as wide as the mat. Let your toes fall open. Close your eyes down. See if there's any more space to settle into. Anything else you can let go of here. Invite a deeper breath back to your body. And invite the deepest part of yourself to awaken. Imagine there's a part of you deep inside that's been asleep. That's just now choosing to join the party. As you open your eyes just a little bit and start to wiggle your fingers and your toes, imagine this is the first time this part of you has ever felt this sensation of having a body or seeing through these eyes. Use your imagination to let this be a new beginning. Imagine this part of yourself is vigilant for peace, and that's why they've been asleep. There hasn't been quite enough peace inside for them to want to join the party, but now there is. So see if you can see with these new eyes, move slowly as you roll onto your right side. Instead of looking at this as the end of your practice today, see if you can look at this as just the beginning. This was just to get you in this space. Now the real practice is seeing how long you can stay in this space today. Staying with your breath. And keeping that softness in your face and your shoulders. Cultivating some peace in your heart, in your life, in the world. When you're ready, slowly come on up to a seat, finding a nice tall spine. 
Inhale through the sit bones all the way up to the crown. Exhale, soften the shoulders down. Inhale the arms up, squeeze your palms together, lift your fingers a little higher one last time. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Let your head bow to the wisdom of your heart. Lift the thumbs to that space above the eyebrows. Take a moment to thank yourself for showing up today. May all beings everywhere be free from pain and suffering. May our thoughts and actions in some way contribute to that. Namaste. <laughs> Will they bring